This car tells me I'm not the only one at the port. I didn't come to steal cars. Better not waste time and head for the port's entrance. The appointment was more than half an hour ago. There's no one here. This is the right place. And I'm not that late that most people wouldn't still be waiting. I don't like this. I'd better take a look around. The sun is shining. Rather optimistic for an act of vandalism. It's a signal buoy. The anchor must be broken, otherwise there's no reason for it to be so close to the mooring. I'm not going to pick up every object that I find around. something that it's still floating. A metal door. It's closed. Looks like they haven't been used for a while. There are barrels and crates everywhere at the port. They probably called me from this telephone. I remember hearing a ship's siren during the call. Hmm, there's something on the ground. Dannazione, it's blood. It's fresh, very fresh, otherwise the rain would have washed it away. I didn't like this case right from the very beginning. These traces of blood certainly don't win at any points. That Chinese cab driver ran away and left me here. I hate cab drivers. It would be better if I called the police. Yes, I'd better call the police. Hello, operator? Operator, there's no line. Someone must have cut the cables. That explains why the telephone call I received was cut off so abruptly. No cab, and no phone. Looks like I'll have to take care of things myself. It's the Harbor Master's office. There's a notice. We would like to inform you that the Harbor Master's office is open daily from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. An open can. Looks like there's pitch in there. The pitch looks like it can still be used. The pitch looks like it can still be used. Santa Claus. 
Claus decided to give up his sleigh for a more practical merchant ship. They don't fit in my coat, otherwise I'd be more than happy to carry a huge wooden crate around New York. These are the typical things that are essential to make it in a big city. Melville Port. In the 1920s, it was an important loading and unloading point for fishermen who frequented the East River. But I hadn't heard about it for years. I thought it had closed. A stop sign. It's the Manhattan Bridge. They finished it about 20 years ago. It connects Lower Manhattan with Brooklyn. It's too dark. I can barely see where I'm stepping, but I can see a blood trail pointing to the docks. An electric panel. Flashlight here. Yes, I'll take it. The flashlight is in good condition, but it doesn't have any batteries. Finding something ready to be used would have been too easy. Nothing I can do. The panel is completely useless. logo on who knows maybe Santa Claus there's a toy company who knows it's pitch black if I take another step I might end up in the water drowning seems like one of the most unpleasant endings I can think of anyway I have to find a way to go to the docks area the blood trail points in that direction. The pitch looks like it can still be... I don't see how I could use them together. And what should I use it for? stick. From the markings on the side, it must be one of the rods they use to measure the depth of the water. The light from this boy, maybe it uses the same kind as my flashlight. And what should I use it for? can't get there from here. And what should I use it? A rowboat that has seen better days. No, it's saying something that it's still floating.
can't get there from here. Crates, barrels, and other crap. Everything that you'd expect to find it. It looks like there's something inside these crates. Let's see. Could be helpful. There are just hangars and warehouses for the next two miles. Walking is not an option. something to connect them. I don't see how I could use them together. I don't see how I could use them together. I'll take a little. Now the pipe is full of pitch. The pitch should work as glue. What should I use it for? Yes, this should work. The improvised hook does the job. It hooks the boy and brings it to the pier. Okay, I brought the boy closer. Okay. Let's hope that the boy takes the same batteries as the flashlight. They take the same batteries. If I weren't already up because of that anonymous call, and I hadn't found traces of blood at a semi-abandoned port, I'd say that today is my lucky day. It's pitch black. If I take another step, anyway. It's time to shed some light on this story. Gun and flashlight in hand, I walk around the crates scattered around the port. I'm careful to cast my light everywhere that someone could be hiding with the idea of whacking me over the head with something when I least expect it. There isn't anyone on the dock. I decide to look around the piers. And there, I find something that doesn't really surprise me. A dead body. Sean's dead body. I 
I touch his face with my fingers. It's warm. He can't have been dead more than 20 minutes. Rifling through the pockets of his coat, I find a bottle that, from the smell of it, must have rye whiskey in it. And a couple documents with the name John Ford on them. They're done so well, they almost seem real. All of a sudden, a noise behind me brings me back to reality. But it's too late. A set of knuckles meets my jaw like a truck. I fall to the ground. From the rebound, my finger pulls the trigger and the gun goes off. The trajectory of the bullet is as random as my shot. The owner of the fist stands there like a statue, making noises like a caged gorilla at the zoo. I try to think of a quick way to knock him over. He's as big as a house, but a kick to his legs will knock him over like a consumptive kid. Right before I'm about to jump, the guy turns around and runs away. I follow him. But as soon as I get off the piers, a light beam hits me right in the face. Hands up, says a voice, but I can't see the face. New York police, continues the voice. Del Nero, that's a great story you just told. An anonymous call, a mysterious assailant, and a dead body. Sounds like the plot of one of those crime novels so popular these days. I bet it's those kinds of books that made you the lieutenant you are today. Hey, I wouldn't joke if I were you. You're not in a position to be joking. Let's summarize your version of the facts. Around 20 past midnight, you got a call from a man. He said he had information for you and asked you to go to the Melville port. You agreed to meet him. When you got to the port, no one was there. You decided to walk to the piers, and there you discovered the body of Sean McLean, a former police officer who had been your partner in this department years back until the Valenti case when you both got kicked out of the force. And to conclude, you claim that you were assaulted by some mystery guy who was chasing you when you got arrested by officers Harris and McGee. Now, is this all correct? It's the third time that I've told you the facts of the matter. I can repeat it as often as you like so that you can see whether I trip up, but that technique isn't going to work. You are accused of homicide, Del Nero, and I suggest you cooperate with us if you don't want to end up in a cell. There are some unclear points that I'd like to shed some light on if you don't mind. Sure. I don't have any other appointments. My knitting class has already ended. Del Nero, joke around if you think this behavior will help you. At 20 past midnight, you got a telephone call from a man that asked you to go to the old Melville port. You agreed without thinking twice. Let's talk about the telephone call you received. Answer, or it won't be good for you. Let's talk about the telephone call you received. A voice promised sex, drugs, and free booze. Save me the lip, Del Nero, or I'll toss you right in a cell. Let's talk about the telephone call you received. It was a guy with some information about one of my cases. Okay. It must have been very important information to make you go to the port in the middle of the night. What information are we talking about? Professional secret. As you wish, Del Nero. If you don't want to answer, you'll pay the consequences. Del Nero, I'm tired of your attitude. I hope you like this room, because until you decide to talk, you're staying here. Have a nice stay. Goodbye, Del Nero. Dannazione. Great. A homicide charge was all that was missing. I wonder what else this day has in store for me.